Hello friends, it's Jiftesh from Encode Digital. In last one of the video, I did the text to speech with the Amazon Polly AI. So basically you can read any text in any voice. Um, that was programmatically, so you can use that one. I will share the link here. But today I want to cover the open AIs, um, the text to speech, which is far more powerful because you can set the tone, the dialect, the emotions, and if you use the OpenAI's website, then it is free of cost as it stands today. Tomorrow, if they change that's different thing, it is using underlying the model, which of course, if you use programmatically um, from your code, then of course that is paid because you need to have the API key. But if you're using their website, then it is totally free. And I will quickly show you how you can use. There is endless, um, you know, possibilities what you can do with it. So let me share my screen and let's get started. So guys, this is the if you go to the openai.fm. So that's the website. That's all you need. Very simple, but they give you a lot of voices over here, some male, some female. The key thing here is these vibes. So basically you can select some existing ones. You have to refresh. So for example, right now there's pirate, calm, sports coach. I will quickly deep dive into those ones. But if you refresh here, you will see there's different coming serene, friendly, teenager, scientist, robot, you know, if you keep on doing friend, um, refresh, it will show you different vibes. What the vibe means is, so for example, um, when you are speaking, it takes the voice, like for cowboy voice, punctuation, how it gonna deliver, phrasing the tone. So for example, let's look into the sports coach. So for sports coach, so it defines what is the pacing. So it has done, so you can change it, you know, but they have already set based on that one. You can have any emotion, any personality you can define yourself. So let's have a look at one of the example. For example, sports coach, they given the script as well. You can write any script here. So if I say play. What's up sports fans? Welcome to the final whistle. I'm your host and today we're breaking down last night's epic overtime thrill. So you see, that's the sports one, very energetic. You know, it's like your commentary um, on, on, on some of the sports game going on. So if you're making any video or anything like that, you can use this, you know, um, the way it speaks. Because with Amazon Polly, I shown, that is good, but it doesn't add that many emotions. So this one is, let's look into another one. For example, you're doing any fitness video for the YouTube and you want to add. So let's play. All right, team, let's bring the energy. Time to move, sweat, and feel amazing. We're starting with a dynamic warm up. Yep, so that was with chorals um, as a sound. So let's uh, change it to the male version and let's change some vibe as well. So let's say, um, let's say I am doing some very calm video. Okay, so let's say. Thank you for contacting us. I completely understand your frustration with the cancelled flight, and I'm here to help you get rebooked quickly. So yeah, can you see that one? So in your business, if you are having the voicemail, you know, you, you can create the voicemail with this, it will download as a, and yeah, you can download it as well. So once you have written your text, I can write anything. And once you have played it, then you can download it. So when I down, it's going to download in the .mp3 and that's how you can use it. There are endless possibilities, like I mentioned. Keep on searching these ones. Try different voices. It is free of cost. And as you can see, it has downloaded it in mp3. Now, the next step, of course, I want to cover in the next video is so once you have downloaded the mp3, let's say you are creating a video. You might have seen this in a lot of YouTube videos that the captions comes. 
you know or the subtitle you can say that so how we can create the subtitles and then that you can use as a caption in any of your videos um, and, and like CapCut or Canva where you can use anywhere or I use programmatically uh, with FFMEG, which I can cover in my uh, next tutorial as well. So if you want to see how you can convert this, this voice you downloaded into the caption or the subtitles and then use in your videos, then stay tuned guys. Speak to you in the next one. Thank you, bye.